we're out of the racetrack. We finally made it on a beautiful sunny day. I think I was owed this one. The guy upstairs definitely owed me. First session, we're looking to make sure all of our systems are working. We want to make sure we're getting all our telemetry. We can accurately monitor the car. We want to make sure our passenger and driver are safe for the rest of the day. So I've been chosen to drive the car today. A couple of laps and make sure everything runs fine. Okay, vehicle, we're ready when you are. really well at like uh, changing what we need to do and adapting to the to the conditions so it's just really nice to see it going and we've had a few minor issues but nothing nothing major that doesn't sound nice Kind of like a metal on metal kind it of thing. Yeah. metal on metal, yeah. It sounded to me like it was like something, like a bolt, like if you were to put like a bolt intermittent? in. Intermittent? Yes, If you were to put a bolt in a metal tray and rattle the, and shake the metal tray around, that's what it sounded really so I thought it sounded rubbish. Like like I, like I, like I think let's we, just keep going. Yeah. We're not making any progress. We're not going to strip the car down. No. And we're not going to open up the motor. might not be there. Yeah. yeah. No way. It, it could have just been Yeah, so you're just doing like your six laps now and just seeing how it goes. Um, I don't think it's anything yeah, no, that's mission critical. Uh, it just needs monitoring. Reviewing some of the videos of the suspension movement, we realised that we had a little bit of too much flex in, in part of the chassis, uh, which we fixed now. We've got an aluminium member running across those two rear frames at the back. So there's definitely a lot of different aspects to the car. Mechanical is sort of the most obvious one when you view the car, but definitely code is important as well. But of course, without code, the car would not run. But we have a telemetry team that works on pumping real-time data out of the car, so team members who are not inside the car can still analyse and view that real-time data in order to make those really quick judgments um, if the car is in trouble. There's definitely a lot of areas of growth. Every track day is very much a test, so that's certainly very exciting for the team. These amazing days at Sydney Motorsport Park don't come too often, unfortunately, so we've got to maximise the potential throughout the day. So if that means going out in a little bit of uh, inclement weather, we'll, we'll consider doing that.
can you? Okay, it's, that that doesn't sound good. Yeah. That uh, we have issue. Potentially major. Again. Yeah, no worries. Give me a phone. We have an issue with our 12 volt line. It's causing the drive node to crash. That means we can't run the motors. But. We need to power up the battery again, except it's currently wet. When we can get it dried off and powered up, we're going to reflash the code onto the drive node, get the debug output, see what the debug is saying, and then from there we can identify what the issue is. And then from there, fix it. It's a high performance vehicle. You know, it operates at a bit of a knife edge, really, of performance. And we've got to remember that, you know, they're undergraduate students, they're learning all the way. They're not industry experts. So we need to sort of accept and anticipate little mistakes will happen, as I said. So there's a lot to learn from the car, and there's also a lot to learn from the team as well. To get the car back on track, we really focus on the reliability of the entire system. Uh, we cut out all the features that we didn't need in the moment, so we could only focus on powering the car and getting it going. We got the car back on track and it ran a, a, quite a few laps actually quite well and it was very enjoyable to drive. Sunset 7 launch event was a very big psychological milestone. We've really achieved something here and we're really, really proud of it. It's really great for us as a team to be able to share that we exist and to be able to share with the industry and the people in the space that even though we're undergraduate students on the most part, we're really trying to do something quite new and quite different here. I think for industry it would have been really nice to feel that included because we often do say that they're like family but they actually a really big part of why we've achieved what we've achieved today. The next big target is the remote driving project. After that the Guinness World Record, that'll be the fastest solar car on a single charge around a 1000 kilometre distance. It's a pretty big one um, but we're, we're pretty excited about that.